My name is Ophira Henning. I'm a theater director, and I directed the new project Terribly Human, um, which is going to be performed, premiered in Germany, in Tuck Theater in Berlin, 27-28 of April. And I'm going to talk now about the project, about the group, and of course, about the situation. This play by Gilad Vron was written in 2015, and uh, that was the last play of Gilad, and I loved the play uh, since I read it, and I was looking for and waiting for the right moment to, to work, because this work is dealing with the uh, universal, a uh, big, big problem of racism of the Western uh, world. I decided to work on this uh, text, on this story. It was uh, January 2000, 2023. And um, I, I made a workshop with the, with the actors. It was May, uh, just to check some really the beginning of my ideas. And then July, officially, we started rehearsals. Uh, we worked July, August, September. Then September, we had to make a pause because I was supposed to, to be here in Berlin to teach. And I was back home um, because I do live in Israel. I was back to start uh, the second part of rehearsals. And then the war started. Um, so we had to cancel rehearsals, we had to cancel the shows. Some of the actors uh, I had to replace because it was difficult for them to continue. But in a way, um, this rehearsal room, even we didn't pretend, you know, like everything is okay, uh, the rehearsal room became kind of an, an island because we tried at least to, to be focused on on the work on the process. So the piece is not about the war. The piece is about racism. But of course, for me, racism is one of the reasons to, to make wars and struggles happen. Like it doesn't happen from nothing. And, um, and the fact that we were dealing with racism especially of the Western world, um, made it more and more meaningful. Even you can find different narratives on the same stage. Um, but everything became more meaningful. Everything became more painful. But also, I think that this sense of ironic became more sharp. It was impossible. To, to ignore what is going on outside. For me, this is the main humanist uh, choice uh, for an artist to be open for different cultures, different languages, and give it an equal stage. Khalifa Natu, he's my main partner. I work with him almost 30 years. We grew up together. We are working with different cultures, different languages, and open to different narratives. And it's a very uh, long, uh, difficult journey. Maybe Khalifa and I, we are more used to this, and we have a long breath, but the young people, sometimes it's more difficult for them. And the young actors who are joining us should be really special and great. So if I can see an actress like, for example, Maya or Maya Kish, she's an amazing young actress, or Atala Tanus, that you can see them in this new project. When they do it first time, then I'm sure they will do it the second time and the third time. And I already begin to think about future projects, especially for them. So we are not official group. We are not sponsored and we are not subsided by any institution, any government, any Israeli money. But I'm very careful to tell you what are the identity of those people, of those actors and artists, because for a second, in one second, people will put it in kind of a frame. So we are Palestinians and Israelis and Druze and Syrian artists. So we work together because we are more interested in the same themes, but also 
on the same frame of uh, and forum of theater. So we do not pretend to be a coexistent project. We do not pretend to be normalization. Absolutely not, because there is no coexistence and there is no normalization. And it won't be as long as the situation is like this. I love Berlin. And uh, this is something I, I just don't understand. I don't understand why the Palestinian cannot speak and cannot talk because we are working with the Palestinians have um, a, a very interesting perspective to talk about. I'm, I'm very much into it, but I, I really don't understand the German. I really don't understand. I don't understand. I mean, I understand the guiltiness. I follow the guiltiness. I follow the process of the German society. But what do they want from the Palestinians? The Palestinians didn't commit the Holocaust. This is a place where we can discuss. This is a place where we can, we used to discuss. This is a place, Berlin especially, that can cross in borders. And now it stopped. I don't understand what the fuck happened here. So I, I hope our audience will come because we are crossing borders. We're really crossing borders. It's not about boycott, absolutely not. And I think we have lots to say and amazing, amazing group, really amazing people. So please come. <laughs>